entertaining universe. So I wanted to do this video because I was thinking about this yesterday and the day before yesterday and for about a month now. And look, I know I probably will never go to these places in my lifetime. I probably, maybe I'll go to one or two of these in the United States and maybe, hypothetically, I'm not saying that these places are going to happen or anything like that. I would like to go to a couple of countries outside of the United States. And I'm not just talking about Canada or Mexico or anywhere in Central America or South America or any of those ones. But sure, you know, those are some, probably have some nice places to go to in, you know, Central America and South America and, and, and other, and Mexico and, you know, Canada. But, those are not the places that I want to talk about in today's vlog. I want to, so there's four places in the United States I would love nothing more to visit. And I've already been, I've probably been to all of them, to be perfectly honest with you. I would like to, oh, actually, I shouldn't say that. Because I know one for sure I've never been there before. Maybe even two of them I have been there before. So I'd like to go back to Orlando, Florida and go back to all the theme parks that they have there, whether it's Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Universal Studios, all of those, and do that whole experience again. Now, I'm not, outside of California, it's definitely Orlando, Florida. I'd love to go to New York, New York, you know, go to Ellis Island, you know, see the Statue of Liberty, you know, do the Broadway show thing, do the Times Square thing. I wanted to see it all, you know. I want to go to the, the Manhattan, I want to go to the Brooklyn Bridge, do all that, you know, fun stuff that, that happens to be in New York. And I just, so, I, I know it, I've said this before, but there is, there is, a couple of people I know who live in New York. I'm not saying I know them personally. I'm just saying they live in New York. I don't know if I would ever see them or what would happen there. But that's one place I would love to go. Another place I would love to go in the United States is, you know, whether it's somewhere in Texas. It could be Waco. It could be Houston. It could be Dallas. It could be Arlington. It could be, you know, San Antonio. It could be any city in in in, uh, in Texas because that sounds interesting to me. And now the th the final place in the United States that I would love to go to, and I've been there before once, is to go back to Washington D.C. and go to the Smithsonian and go to the Natural Art um, Air and Space Museum, you know. You know, go maybe go see a Washington Nationals game, even though I didn't get to really do that the last time I was there, because I it's been a while since I've been to Washington D.C. Uh, and you know, those are just so, four of the places that I would really love to go and visit in the United States. Now, outside the United States, there's a bunch of countries I'd love to visit, but I know that's probably not going to happen. Like, I'd love to go to Portugal and. See if I can find some cousins or find some, you know, something like that. Because that's that's where we're from, basically. Is we're from Portugal. Another place I'd love to visit is Germany. And, you know, another place I'd love to go to is Switzerland. Or, you know, Scandinavia, so to speak. Or anything like that. You know, and... You know, there's other countries that I love to go to, like Greece and, you know, and whether it's going to Santorini or Crete or Mykonos or wherever. I just love to see Greece and maybe even go to Greece, Greece and maybe see the Pan Pantheon, even though that may, no, I think, I believe that's in Greece, but I could be wrong on that. I just love to, you know, experience that and... I'm not saying I would want to go here, but maybe someday, or maybe, you know, maybe another place on that list could be, you know, Machu Picchu in Peru. And, you know, maybe even see, you know, Rome. Go to see where the Colosseum is and, you know, 
sure, Italy is, you know, a very big country. There's there's just so much to see in Italy. You got Rome, you got Tuscany, you've got Bologna, you've got um I mean there's just a bunch of places you could go to in Rome. Milan or not Rome, in Italy. I mean there's just so many places that would be cool to visit. I'm not saying I would ever visit these places, but I'm just saying these are some of the places that I would love to go in the United States and in in outside of the United States and other countries. You know, I'm not saying I'm not ruling out going to England to London or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, Portugal, Germany, Switzerland, Greece, you know, those are my top places I would like to go. There are secondary places I would like to go as well. It, like even though Italy, Italy would probably be on the top, the the you know top places I want to go outside of the United States, along with those other countries that I listed. Peru is up there too. You know, don't get me wrong. All of the countries that exist out there that I've never been to are probably great in their own in their own special ways, and that's okay. I'm just saying, you know, I want to do, go to places where where my family comes from, even though probably none of them live in those countries anymore. I mean, Portugal, yes, definitely. I definitely have cousins in Portugal, even though I've never met them, and they probably don't even know who I that I exist or anything like that. But I do know I have maybe cousins, distant cousins, or you know, whatever it may be in Portugal somewhere. Anyways, um, I, that's what I wanted to discuss in today's vlog is the four places I would like to go to in the United States and some places I'd like to go that are outside of the United States. And that's just what I wanted to discuss today. So let's move on to birthdays, do the outro, and then say goodbye. So we've got, uh, we've got Catherine Valdez. Happy birthday to her today. Oh, and Joey Graceffa's birthday today is, all, is also... But I don't have him down here, so. But it is his birthday. And then we've got Haley Out Outland, who turned 25 today. And Megan Fox, who turned 35 today. So, <laughs> happy birthday to those individuals. And anyone else who has a birthday on this 16th day of, of May 2021. Yes, I did say the correct date and the correct month this time. That was a one-time mistake that I made, like, last week. I can't believe it's May 16th already, but that's beside the point. So, I will see you tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog, and ciao, and bye bye